Hey folks and welcome back and in today's video we will be looking at how we can share the internal folders of home assistant OS using something called as Samba share. Now there will be a situation in future videos wherein we will need to transfer certain files from your machine to the home assistant OS and Samba share is going to actually help us to do this. Now I will show you the entire setup as well as how you can access the shared folders on a Windows machine as well as on a Mac OS. So with this, let's get started. So to start off now, what you have to do is go to settings and in settings, search for your add-ons here. Now in the add-on section, what you're going to do is click on this add-on show and then here you're going to search for Samba share. So once you click on this, you're going to click on install here. And now this will install the Samba share add-on for you. Now the Samba share add-on is now installed. What we are going to do is we have to set certain configurations. So let's go to the configuration tab here. And here you have the username with which you will log into this shared drive. So this Samba share that we have, it provides you a mechanism like a network drive that you can access from any machine. Now this will allow you to access the internal folders of Home Assistant OS on a different machine as a network drive. So here you need to provide it the username and the password such that you can authenticate from a different machine. You should set this thing up because this is very much important. Right now what I'm going to do, I'm going to give this my password. So remember the password that you need and this will be the username that you will use to log into this shared drive. Now, along with this, there's this allowed host options. Now, what does this section say is that this will tell which IP addresses can access this drive. So there are some default addresses here like this 10.0.0.0 slash 8. Then we have a wide range of options here. Now, if you see your internal IP addresses, it would be of this format like 192.168.0.0 or it could be 172.16 or any other type, right? So now you need to allow these IP addresses to access your shared drive, right? Now for me on my router, my internal IP address starts with 192.168 and it goes ahead. Like currently I'm accessing the home assistant at this address. It is 192.168.0.130. That's the reason I have put in this address so this comes by default so there are certain default addresses that are there now in case your ip address does not lie in any of this ranges here you can add those here so say for example your ip address was something like 198.112.0.0 slash 16 if your ip address was something like this starting with these six numbers you need to put two zeros after this and put a slash 16 here. So this will allow all the IP addresses from 00, 00 to 255.255 values. So all the IP addresses range will be included into this. So when I click on this, this will be added here. Now to understand how this IP address range works is, I'll go a little bit more deep into it. So let me go to this website called as CIDR.XYZ. So on this, it will tell you what are your IP address ranges. So right now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put in my IP address prefixes so 192.168 and here I'm going to specify 16. So what does this tell you is that if I specify the IP address this way, that means your first usable IP is this, that is 0 0.1 and then the last usable IP is 256.254. So this will go like 0 0.1, 0 0.2, 0. up till 254, then 1.0, 1.1, 1.2, .1, and so on. So these are your ranges of IP addresses. Now, if you don't want to learn this more in detail, the simplest thing that you would have to do is take your internal IP address, take the first two parts, put zeros, and then put a slash 16. This will allow all your IP addresses on your home network to allow this network drive to be accessible to these IP addresses. So that's what we are going to do. Right now, I don't have this range, so I'm going to remove this right now. I'm going to use this range because this is what my internal IP address range looks like. 
so that's what i'm going to specify here remember the slash 16 has to be put after putting the 0.0, .0. with this what i'm going to do is i'm going to now save this so now my configuration is all saved i have set in a username and a password here and then i'm going to go back to info here and i'm going to click on start so now this will actually start my samba share drive so now this samba share add-on has started right now okay so now your drive will be accessible what i'm going to do is i'll show you how to access a drive on a mac machine and if you have a windows machine you can skip to the next chapter wherein i have shown you how to do this on a windows machine also so now on the mac what you will have to do you will have to go to your finder and in the finder you have to go to go menu section and click on connect to server now here what you're going to do is you're going to specify the ip address of your home assistant os so you will have to specify this three characters here that is smb colon then double slash that is the forward slashes then you have to specify the ip address of your home assistant os now once you do this you're going to click on connect so if you see here it's asking me for the username and password so this is the username and password that we have here in our configuration so this is the username and the password so i'm going to put in that so i'm going to say home assistant and i'm going to specify the password and you can remember this in a keychain or else you can just click on connect so now if you see these are all the possible folders that are available now that has been shared using the samba share add-on so now mostly you would want to have the config or the media options such that you can drop in some media files or the shared drive usually when it is used for some shared folders or shared media among various add-ons so usually these three are the ones that are pretty much important so here i'm going to select one of these like for example i'm going to select the share drive and i'm going to click on ok now after clicking on that if you see here it opened up into this new tab here and on the side here you can see the ip address now if you click on this you will get all the possible folders that have been shared using the samba share option now you can go inside any of these folders like for example if i go into the share folder you can see this thing now here you can just drop in certain files or create some new folders like how i've created right now so this is the way you can access this internals of your home assistant os folders now this is what we saw how we can do this on a mac machine right now let's look at how we can do this on a windows machine so on your windows machine what you will have to do is go to this pc so when i open this you will see this network section here right so right click on this option and then after that click on map network drive so here what i'm going to do is i'm going to specify to backslash and then i'm going to specify the ip address of my home assistant and once you enter the ip address click on this browse option and then you will get to see this option here so now when i expand this you will get to see all the folders here now it may happen when you click on this it will ask you for the username and password so that time you will have to add the username from here that we had configured in our samba shared drive and the password that we set over here now since i have done this thing before it's not asking me for the username and password again you can then select like for example the config folder here and then click on ok and then click on finally finish and now if you see here you will get to see this shared drive here so you can see the configuration.yaml file here this you can then import it into your visual studio code which has the home assistant plugin which will allow you to do auto completion of your configuration files now if i go back to this my pc or this pc you will get to see this shared drive so now this is the config folder from your home assistant os so we just saw how we can access home assistant folders using samba share now we will be making use of this using our first use case wherein i will be showing you how you can create your own custom wake word for your voice assistant that will be used inside home assistant so make sure to hit that like button as well as hit that subscribe button for more such videos to come till then take care and i will see you in my next one